to begin, first off, when we came here looking for a sub, we, we wanted to see a sub. We saw the side scan. It was definitely not conclusive, but it looked and it leaned towards a submarine. There was a, it was a long wreck with a, uh, a piece of something coming up. It, 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 had, uh, it had potential to be a submarine. Um, but again, you know, when you're looking for something and searching for something, you often see what you want to see, which is why on, uh, when we went down, uh, we went down the line, and as we progressed down the line on the first dive, the first thing I happened to see were two small masts, or periscopes, coming off in the sand. And something about them wasn't right, and uh, sort of in, in your heart, you know it's not a sub, but you really want it to be periscopes. I mean, I was anticipating a submarine, so heading down the line, I expected to, to come upon a submarine. The, the sides can said it was about the same length, uh, about the same shape, so when we first came into view, we had beautiful visibility. It was about 60 foot of visibility. So, I mean, you could see a long, you know, a long shape of a wreck. So dropping down onto it, I expected to see a sub. And all of a sudden, when I saw the King Post, I kind of scratched my head and looked around for a second and went, wait, that's, that shouldn't be here. And I, it was definitely a letdown when it wasn't a submarine. But it was a wreck, and it was in that position. So I think we swam off towards the masts and uh you know did the best we could i mean winged it was it. yeah we winged it <laughs> which is what you have to do uh as part of the story there was a a ship that that played a played a major role and so once we determined that it wasn't a submarine we were sort of looking for uh, identifying features that might positively id id this as the uh as, as the, the ship in question but on the way back we came across a giant, or not giant, but uh, many plates of steel. So there were stacks of them there. I think on the surface, that's when uh, Ken started telling us that the Iona Maru actually was carrying steel plates. And the first thing Ken said when we got up to the surface, when we said, "Oh, it looked like a freighter," he said, "Was it carrying steel plates?" Like, yeah, we, <laughs> we think fact, so. It was. He's like, um, I think that th that's the Iona Maru, which not where it was, was not where it was supposed to be. So that added. Uh, added a bit to the, the, the mystery. Where we thought it was a ship on its side, it was actually a ship that was upright, and instead of having a deck like this, the entire uh, starboard side of the ship had sort of collapsed, and, and the decking hinged down like that. And, and what was also odd is that the, uh, the, the gunnels, where there'd usually be a little bit of uh, you know, freeboard from the deck to the top of the, of the, the gunnel, it was actually bent over and on on uh, on the second dive you know we, we saw uh, divots divots in the in the uh, in the side of the hull uh, giant cracks up uh, in the in the stern the, the, the cracks aren't necessary I mean the, the cracks could be you know on a ship on a, on a sinking ship it comes down it hits and and ships often crack but I would think if it went down in the storm it would be in much better condition than we saw it yeah if it hadn't I mean if it, if it had just gone down in the storm um, it wouldn't be rubble the stern the, where the uh, where the wheelhouse was and whatnot total rubble Bla I mean what we think you know blasted to pieces so uh, uh, I mean this ship definitely looks like it's been uh, hit hard so uh, I mean the historical record was that they they uh, they, they depth charged uh, the submarine 150 times. This ship looks like it took a beating. They were talking about uh, whether or not it was a submarine or not, and somebody said that it was moving at five knots, and somebody mentioned that there's possibly a Japanese oil tanker that had been sunk there, and they were sort of making light of the fact that that Japanese oil tanker wouldn't be moving very well, and whatever was down there was moving at five knots. It kind of made me mad because it called me a liar right off the bat. So why do you say, yeah, we sunk a submarine? This thing, for a, for a sunken wreck, when did it ever get a sonar jamming device? It pinpointed itself in the water by trying to, <laughs> trying to keep our sonar from picking it up. And I thought, sure, we had sunk a submarine. But he was interested, very interested in it, because he felt that it might be a, a Russian submarine, and he didn't want to get blamed for a, 
two of his ships starting a war with Russia. I remember that. At high, I mean, a high frequency, uh, I know there was a torpedo fired. Well, <clears throat> after seeing the, the diver come up with the binoculars, I was pretty convinced. When I received the information about the sub submarine not being where it was supposed to be, I was very disappointed because I feel like we sank that sub. And I, I feel like that something's happened, I don't know what, but I get the feeling that uh, there's been some uh, secret maneuvering around and I think somebody has picked that submarine up. Whether it's happened or not, that's my feeling. Could he just want anybody to know that we, we did hit a Russian sub? In my mind, we hit a Russian sub. Because no way could a sunken ferry do three to five knots underwater to try sonar jamming to dry evasive actions. I mean, it could have gotten damaged and it could have gotten underway and moved out of the area. I mean, when you depth charge a submarine, it has a lot of damage, but it's not totally damaged and they try to get away or they try to move. And that's maybe what they did. I don't know. I don't, I didn't think it was possible that the submarine got away. Uh, there was two destroyers after it and then he was severely punished with the battery of death charges and uh, it seemed like we accomplished our goal. So I, I'm uh, giving up the thought that we sank us up. I feel sure that we did.